are going to do is determine how to determine the equation of a plane given information. What information do you need? Uh, from geometry, you know that three points to determine a unique plane. But also, um, something else that you need is a normal vector and a, a, given, a given point. All right. Uh, so for a geometric kind of description of why that is, if you have a plane here, you can make a plane, all right, if you have a normal vector, all right, there are many such planes that have that same normal vector. All right, but if you specify a, a, uh, a point, that's going to select one of these in, it's going to pick one of them out and it's going to be unique. <clears throat> so how can we, given a normal vector and a point, determine what the equation of the plane is? Well, let's say we have, we have a plane and a normal vector, we'll call that, whose components are A, B, C. And the point that you're given is, uh, we'll call that one X0, Y0, Z0. So there's your vector and your given point. So how, given this information, how can we determine what the equation of the plane is? Well, what property, you see, what kind of property um, is satisfied by all, the, by all, all the points in this flat set here? As it turns out, if you notice, if you make, if you pick any other point and you make a vector starting from the given point to any other point in the plane, you find that these are, all of these vectors are perpendicular to the given normal vector. And that's what we're going to use to figure out the equation of the plane. What describes that set? Well, let's pick an arbitrary point x, y, z that's in the, the uh, plane, x, y, z. If we make a vector from the given point to this point, what will the components of that vector be? It'll be, um, you know, the final point minus the initial point. So you'll have x minus x0, comma, y minus y0, comma, z minus z0. And what property d does that have? Well, for any point x, y, z, when you dot that vector with this vector, you should get zero because they're going to be perpendicular. So the equation we're going to be working with is this dot the given equals zero. All you have to do is work out this dot product and out will, will fall the equation of the plane. This is how it goes. Let's dot them, all right? A dot this, you'll get AX minus AX0 plus BY minus BY0 plus CZ minus CZ0 equals zero. And when you rearrange all this, all right, uh, you'll have AX plus BY plus CZ and now, all right, that takes care of the A, B, and C. We'll have this term and this term and that term. Those are just numbers because they're made of the components of the vector and the, the, the given point. So that's just going to be some number plus D equals zero. And, that's, and straight out of that falls the equation of the plane. One thing that you notice is um, the original vector that we started with, the A, B, C, they just so happen to be um, the coefficients of x, y, and z when you do the equation of the, the, the plane. Um, <clears throat> I have an actual example here. We're going to figure out the equation of the plane um, which has this as its perpendicular vector and contains that point. So I'll just redraw it up here again and show you how it goes. I usually draw this when I'm going through it. You have a point here that's 1, 0, 2. One, zero, two. And the normal vector is 2. All right, you set it up. Take any other point in the plane, x, y, z. Make a vector out of the, the given point and that point. So that so this vector is x minus one, y minus zero, and z minus two. And all those points x, y, z, uh, when you dot them with this dot two minus one three. Give you zero. And all you 
got to do is multiply it all out. So what will we get? We'll get 2x minus 2 uh, minus y uh, plus 3z minus 6 equals 0. And then after that, all you, you have to do is group the terms. 2x minus y plus 3z minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8 equals 0. And that's your equation of the plane. Uh, a, a quick note, the other way that you could have done this is, we said earlier that you only need, that three points also determines a unique plane. Uh, how to go through that real quick is, if you have three points here, here, and here, what you have to do is pick one of those points, all right, and make a vector from here to there, and make a vector from there to, to there. And when you cross those, that will give you your perpendicular vector. And then from that, you just you can uh, reference any one of those given points, the perpendicular vector, and go through that same process to get the equation of the plane.